Hey everybody, Todd Faircloth here. We are at the Riders Conference here in La Crosse, Wisconsin, working with uh, Denali Sunline Gamagatsu and uh, AFCO this week. And uh, we have got a brand new bait out, Shark King does, it's called the Chick Magnet. And uh, super excited about this bait. It's really gonna shine in the cold uh, winter pre-spawn months but it's not limited to those times of year. This is a bait that you're gonna be able to catch fish throughout all four seasons of the year. And uh, we're gonna show you guys how I'll fish it, the gear I fish it on, and uh, hopefully we'll even catch a fish. All right, here we go. The brand new Strike King Chick Magnet, taking a little closer look at it. We've got the circuit board bill here, flat sided crankbait. We're gonna offer it in a lot of great colors. Got the uh, Gamagatsu, I've changed out the hooks on it. Got the Gamagatsu uh, G Finesse trebles on it. And uh, we'll go into how I fish this bait and the gear I fish it on. This is a seven foot uh, medium heavy Denali uh, crank, crankbait rod. I use a five to six gear ratio reel bait caster and uh, always use 10 to 12 pound uh, Sunline sniper uh, when I'm fishing a flat sided crankbait. And uh, usually you're fishing it. This bait really, really shines in the cold, uh, you know, winter time when the water temps in the upper 40s to mid 50s. But it's a very versatile bait that I think we're gonna catch fish on throughout the year. In the fall, I think it's gonna be a real good little finesse crankbait. Uh, you know, fall time of year, fish kind of get finicky a little bit. And uh, I think it's gonna be a dynamite bait. You know, in the spring and pre-winter uh, times, I'm gonna stick with the, you know, crawl colors and then a shad color. I'll have those two colors mainly that I'm gonna throw. And uh, water clarity really dictates what color crankbait I throw. If the water's super clear, I'm gonna go with natural colors. If the water's got some color to it, that's when I'll go to some more chartreuses and stuff, something that stands out a little bit more. Let's put it in the water and see what we can do. All right, so let, let's start out where I really think the chick magnet's gonna, gonna shine and is in the winter and pre-spawn. Anytime the water temperature's up or uh, mid 40s to uh, mid 50s, I call you know winter or uh, pre-spawn. And, and what type of cover I'll be looking to throw this bait around uh, is really rock and wood. Uh, those will be the two, but I also think it could be a real good finesse like crankbait uh, and grass as well. But uh, those three are gonna really be where it shines, rock, wood, and grass. My first pick would probably be rock. I'm gonna throw it 10 to 12 pound test Sunline Sniper. Slow gear ratio reel, five to six. And the reason for that is Usually in the uh, you know, winter and pre-spawn, fish are lethargic. And if I fish a, a slower gear ratio reel, it just helps me maintain contact with the bottom, but it actually just lets me not overpower the bait. And uh, it seems like cranking in the winter and pre-spawn, the fish react to the bait better if you're just really crawling alone on the bottom. Uh, so that's how we go in the pre-spawn and winter times of the year. I, I talked to you guys about types of colors and my retrieve, uh, you know, winter, pre-spawn with the chick magnet. Now leading into post-spawn and uh, summer, I do tend to change my uh, colors up a little bit more. I'm more primarily based uh, for that time of year would be shad. Uh, you know, I want to I want to fish something shad colored like like this one here. It's the sexy shad, and uh, I feel like that's the primary forage. You know, post spawn and leading into summer and fall, and also will uh, you know you're dealing with a warmer water temperature in the post spawn summer and fall, so the fish are a lot more aggressive. So I'll speed my retrieve up a lot more, fish the bait a lot more uh, aggressive. And uh, I still use the same gear ratio reel as I did in the, in the winter and pre-spawn. I just basically am trying to create a reaction bite. And uh, the fish are more aggressive, so I'm really trying to bang it in the cover and bounce it off the cover uh, during the post-spawn leading into summer and fall. During the summer time of the year, I like to run way up the backs of the creeks or the far upper end of a river 
and uh, throw the chick magnet around. Any type of cover that's available with some type of water flow around it. Uh, it may be wood like we have right here. It could be rock, um, whatever, whatever's available. And uh, I like to fish the shad colors uh, that time of year and uh, really get kind of aggressive with the crankbait and really try to bang it into something and draw a reaction bite out of the fish. That time of the year, the fish are, are more prone, you know, to chase something, the water temperature's warm, and it seems like the more aggressive I, I, I fish a crankbait that time of year, the more, uh, the better success I have. Now, you come into the fall time of year, and the fall time of year, I will usually start in the very backs of the creeks or upper river, and then I'm, all I'm looking for that time of year really is bait activity. And I will fish from the back out and usually from the back of a creek to the mouth of the creek, somewhere in between there, you're gonna intercept where the majority of the bait fish are. And that could change from day to day. Um, but uh, you know, I'll throw the bait, uh, the chick magnet uh, around the same type of cover uh, but my primary focus that time of the year is where the shad and the bait is in that given body of water. Another little nugget is don't be afraid to, you know, pitch a crankbait around docks or wood or whatever, you know, a lot of, a lot of the same places I'd pitch a jig or, you know, pitch a, pitch a spinner bait. I fish a, a crankbait a lot, you know, in the summer and the fall. A lot of people are scared to throw a crankbait in those situations, but a lot of times, it will catch fish uh, that, a, that a jig and a spinnerbait won't because the fish aren't used to seeing a crankbait around that type of cover. All right, we're, we're gonna talk about the gear that I throw a uh, shallow crankbait on the chick magnet. Um, I like a seven foot medium heavy action rod, something that's got a real nice soft tip to it, but it's got you know some backbone back towards the reel. I like the Denali Lithium Series uh, Medium Heavy. Um, I pair it with a uh, something six to five uh, gear ratio uh, bait caster and 10 to 12 pound Sunline Sniper. I always fish uh, all my crankbaits on a fluorocarbon line. Um, I really like uh, 10 and 12 pound on, uh, on the chick magnet or a flat sided crankbait, something that's shallow. Um, seems like you get a lot more action with it. This line really, really uh, user friendly. Cast real good. The fluorocarbon allows the crankbait to stay in that deep uh, strike zone a lot longer. You really maximize your depth with a with a fluorocarbon line. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Uh, that kind of sums up the gear that I use. You can check it all out on at Tackle Warehouse, and uh, this is the gear that I use to fish. You know, the Strike King Chick Magnet, this is a year-round crankbait that you can fish all four seasons of the year.